pleasure to meet you. I've been a fan. And uh, I've watched the show. There's so much happening. It's so multi-layered. And you also have noticed are drawn towards playing these very complex characters who are sometimes in a tussle with their own self. What excited you about this? And are you particularly drawn towards playing characters like that? Well, that's interesting. The, the way you describe it is really interesting, but I think we're all in that situation somehow, you know, whether we want to recognize it or not. We're all a prisoner of, of, of ourselves, and uh, the only way out is eventually to try to understand, to work on yourself, but not everybody does that. Uh, and eventually some people realize that they have to do that work, but it's too late, they're too old, and they die stupid. <laughs> so this guy is in this situation where I think finally around his age, which is more or less mine, he mm -hmm. realizes that maybe the choices he's made in his life are not the right one and, and that he needs something else out of life. Wow, well, awesome. And also the fact that you'd once said that you tend to shave off your hair after a film and let, wait for it to grow back so you can get out of character. Did you do something similar with this as well? After this one, yeah, actually, I did. well, I, right after this, when, after we shot that, that series, I had to go to the musketeer. So the musketeer, I have long hair, I have a moustache, I have a little beard like this, like this. And of course, I couldn't grow it because I was shooting this. So what I did is that I shaved everything and I used the wig. <laughs> and uh, But yeah, uh, every time I, I finished, I, I've been working for a while and I want to, uh, you know, I want to lose myself and take a, a break. Usually I go by the beach. And what's better than short hair when you're in the sea from uh, 9 to 5? That sounds perfect. And also for somebody who has been the face of several genres, played so many characters, do you have a favorite? And has the method changed over the years? No, my favorite thing, you want to know what it is? Is to be surprised by my next project. I don't have any idea or plans of what I would like to do and how I would like, with whom. I mean, the incredible thing with being an actor is that, unfortunately, you exist through the desire of others, okay? But in the same time, is you never know who's going to call you and for what. And that surprise for me is part of the thrill. They also call you a style icon, uh, icon you know? So what is actually style for you? Because I know you've said icons are boring. Actors? Well, it's not they are boring. I mean, it's, I mean, you know, actors can be so many things, but I'm not impressed by actors because I've been doing it for so long. You know, I'm more impressed by incredible musicians, poets, uh, eventually painters, you know, but the movie makers somehow, you know, I know how it works. Uh, style icon, I never said that about myself. And honestly, I think, I think the best way for people to talk about you like that is to be comfortable with who you are, you know? And then it's not, the, it's not about the way you dress. I mean, I don't make, I don't put a lot of efforts in the way I dress or whatever, uh, but I'm just trying to be comfortable with who I am and accept it. And I guess, you know, most of the time, I mean, that's what I'm inspired by. You know, when I see somebody, what, I, what you know, people talk about beauty. Oh, he's beautiful, she's beautiful, she's not. Who cares really, you know? The charisma comes from the fact that you accept yourself most of the time. Thank you, Pooja. Thank you so much. And that shows in your work, waiting to see you in India soon. Thank, Thank you. you. I'd love to. Thank you.